So I thought to do things a bit differently today, I will be doing a past, present, future spread. I will be doing all the signs, uh, but we'll upload them separately. Um, no extendeds for this um, for this past, present, future. I will be back to normal, um, you know, after uploading all of these. But today I was called to do something different. And that is the past, present, future. So we shall. Okay. Leo. Let's see Leo's past energy. Leo's past energy. <clears throat> Leo's past energy. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. I see a lot of uncertainty in your past energy. You're not very upset about that. You are maybe burdened by the unknown, by not knowing which direction you will be taking. And that is the past energy, so keep that in mind. But I see here that you still believe that things will get better. Okay, we'll see if that's true in a second. Um, but I see you have been taking your time, taking steps forward slowly and taking your time in taking them. I see that there are times where you are questioning things or even wondering where this road will take you. Some of you could have felt some type of burnout uh, from not knowing because you could be overthinking the, the destination or where your life is heading. Let's see. Let's see the present energy for Leo. Present energy for Leo. Oh, yes. Things did get better but with a cost. So you have the Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. A lot of wands here, a lot of fire. Maybe you have found your spark. You have found what you're passionate about in life and you've started taking the action towards it. Started to kind of build that foundation that empire or the foundation to build an empire on but that came with a cost your decision towards pursuing whatever you're passionate about made other people or things um shed meaning there are people that are not happy about the decisions that you're making and also things that are in your life that do not work and align with the decisions that you're making but remember, you have to take care of number one. And in number one, I mean you. Because what aligns with your passion is what is worth pursuing. And you're doing that in the present moment. So, even though you don't have the picture quite there yet, like I said, there is the foundation that you're seeing that it's kind of building. You're, you're seeing the foundation, so you're working on the foundation right now. Imagine this is a house. You're working on the house foundation. You don't see the house yet, but you're working to make this house's foundation solid first. And you're very passionate about that because you do have a vision. But will that vision be reached or accomplished? We'll see. Let's see the future energy for you, Leo. <clears throat> Show me the future energy for Leo. Yeah, the less, the more you know, the less you know is what's coming to mind. You will still, um, 
you will still question things as you see things. Does that make sense? Let me just tell you how, uh, let me tell you how your cards. You have the Hermit, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you will continue on this exploration uh, period where you will still question things and see where things take you. And like I said, the more you know, the less you know, because the hermit here is kind of like putting you on a quest to look into things in a deeper meaning or th see things in a different light. And the more you explore, the more you will have questions about things because your, your perspective will shift or something in you that will shift that will make you want to think in depth about what you're going through or what you will go through. And it will kind of pause you in action, but it will activate you in thought and feelings. So it's kind of like exploring your options or seeing what your options have instead of deciding. So I see this energy not settling. I see this energy still in the air because you will think that you know how you want your house to look like. Like I'm using the house as an analogy, okay? Um, so you would think you know how that house will look like, but in actuality, the more you look at different houses or the more you get inspired by new ideas, you're like, no, but I want my house to look square or heart-shaped or circled. You know what I mean? Like you will keep on trying to explore more options to see how you want to shape your life. Like there is nothing decided yet. And I see in the future energy, the more you explore, the more you want to explore even more. Does that make sense? I feel like when it comes, if this is regarding a job, if this is regarding family life, um, I see that you will continue on working hard. There is no, like you're not being lazy. <clears throat> you will continue on working hard, but you will keep space for things to um, conspire, for things to show you the way, for inspiration. You will keep s space for that creative thinking to come in because you don't really know what to decide. You don't You don't know and, and it's actually best not to decide in this energy because especially when you have the seven of cups this is this is something that you shouldn't decide on just yet because you don't have the clarity yourself it's not um it's not definite answer here so it's it's still in the air so keep it in the air until the air settles in a way okay best of luck that's what i have for you this will not have extended um it's something different um, and I'm just trying it out, okay? <clears throat> I'll see you soon.